What's up everybody, Canuck here, and welcome to a new video, and I have a new course for you guys that I have completed. Uh, this was actually a course that I was commissioned by 2K to build for the multiplayer playlist for December. They were asking for like a wintry theme, so I kind of went with like an Icelandic kind of look to it. I think it turned out pretty well. Anyway, this is the Northern Lights Club. I'm sure maybe a few of you have uh, seen me uh, design this a little bit on stream, but uh, I built most of this actually off stream uh, over the last few weeks, and it is done, and I released it this morning. So let's uh, jump in. I'll show you around, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So like I said, kind of an Icelandic style course, uh, 72, just over 7,200 yards, par 72. We'll play Black Tees pin one. Here we go. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments of, uh, of this course. Uh, a little bit of a different look for me, a little bit more of a, uh, I'm not... Very, a little bit more of a rugged look. You know, I usually go for a rugged look, but I think this is even more so of a rugged look. So uh, there is the look off the first tee. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the opening few holes, I think. So you're starting off with a mid-length par four. We got to keep it to the left here. So I use the technique where um, the fairway does not auto-flatten. So... I have a lot of natural undulations on this course that uh, usually I kind of have the auto flatten on, but uh, decided not to for this one. And yeah, I think it created a few more natural looking undulations that I enjoyed working with with this course. So, All right, we are off with a drive down the left center. And if you put it there, you've got a pretty easy little pitch on. We got uh, just under 70 yards here. See if we can get it close. We got that perfect. That's what we need. There's a shot right there. Nestles up four feet from the pin. And that is how you play the first hole with an opening birdie. All right. Moving to hole number two. Hole number two, short par five, 532 yards, a little bit up the hill. Just watch out for the big cross bunker. Go to the left or to the right, um, depending on the pin. Pin's kind of back right. You kind of want to play the left, but with the pin kind of more front, uh, or sorry, back right, but pin more front left here today, we're going to play to the right-hand side of this cross bunker. Or we're going to try. Yeah, that's a good shot there. Clears it pretty easily. And that's going to set up a chance to get there in two. This dastardly little hump here that's going to cause some issues of us getting it close here. But uh, let's see. I'm going to go 209. I think we'll go 209 and see if we can let the wind take this a little bit. Well, not quite my intended line, but this might be okay. Kick to the right a bit. There we go. <laughs> we'll just bypass that little bump. There's a shot. Oh, an absolute beauty there. And we have another just six footer for Eagle. No problem at all. Wow, birdie Eagle start. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. So yeah, very kind of rocky look, as you can see. Another kind of Highland style course. I've been kind of doing quite a few of those. I kind of want uh, my next one not to be this kind of look because um yeah i've been kind of stuck on this kind of coastal islands kind of with houndstooth point this is a very kind of a similar look to houndstooth point uh the one i did with apex hound and then thieves landing was kind of a similar coastal kind of look too so um but my march course is kind of a coastal gonna be a coastal one too my next one commission course for 2k but uh I do have another idea for that that's going to make it look a little different from the others. But anyway, uh, this third hole, a little short par three. So really good opportunity to score well here on these opening holes if you play them right. Ooh, right off the pin. But that's okay. We will tap in, and we are four under through three. Just like that. 
Just like that. All right, now the holes start getting a little tougher here. Starting with this very, very tough par three. One of my favorite, I think my favorite par three on the course. 201 yards with a very fun green. Uh, this I love this first pin tucked way at the back there. Very hard to access. Um, well, we're going to do our best. I am going to hit the six iron. It's going to be a bit short. Oh, now it's going to be real short with that shot. Very lazy, slow swing. That's going to set up quite a difficult putt. Actually, not too bad from here. Well, we got 44 feet. Let's see what we can do here. Come on. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Oh, I see Dominators just play, played the Northern Lights Club, and he favored it. Dominator, if you're watching, thank you, my friend. All right, we are off to a blazing hot start here. Oh, he's, um, he's my ghost here. We might have to... I'll tr we'll keep it on for now, but unless my turn order's on. Hold on. Let me just fix this. There we go. All right. So uh, the fifth hole is a tight par five. You do not want to be right or you are in massive trouble, but it is reachable in two, so... Oh, no. We got the red slow, but I think it's going to hang on and be okay. Sit, 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 sit. Light rough, we'll take it. All right, so we got to get right up this corridor here. Uh, 245. This is actually not a bad club here, but we have a nasty side hill lie. I hit it pretty well. It's going right at it. Needs to sit hard, though. Sit hard. Uh, sat pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. All right, pretty straight on shot here for, <laughs> we got a chance to get real hot here. Come on, get in. Another eagle? Oh, maybe I made this course a little too easy. Look at this, we're seven under through five. Three birdies and I've eagled both the par fives. I've play tested this a few times. I've never played this well. The wind is down, but all right. Now, hopefully, the course starts to bite back a little bit. At least my play tests it was. Uh, sixth hole, uphill, par four. These two cross bunkers are going to cause some fits. It is a narrow enough fairway already, but uh, this makes it even tougher. But with this wind, I'm going to try to play up and to the right here. Ugh, I got the red fast. It might be okay. Sit. Well, we got away with it. Got away with a poor shot. All right, everything slopes towards the water here, so we got to be very careful we don't land it on a ridge. 167. Ah, another red fast. Just a huge tug there. I think our birdie streak could be in jeopardy. All right, unless we can have a miraculous sand shot here. Get in. Oh! Close. We gave it a run. We gave it a run. All right, we will knock in the par. All right. That's fine. A couple poor red fasts, so it is what it is. Okay, we move to the seventh little inland par three here, 157 yards. Not much to this. A couple, couple bunkers in the back, couple on the front, but uh, not too difficult of a hole here. Well, now we're having trouble with tempo after those red fasts. We way overcompensated there. Yeah. Ugly. All right, so... Try to chip it on here. Oh, tracking. Oh, no. No, not quite. All right, tap in another par. Okay, heading to the eight hole here at the Northern Lights Club, which is a long downhill par for 511 yards, but down 85, so... Uh, it's going to be playing a lot shorter. 
All right, we are off. Big drive, 343 yards, giving us, well, looks like a, maybe a seven iron. Up on a bit of a ridge here, this, uh, this pin. 67, I might go 167. There's some good tempo we were hoping for. Needs to go a little bit. Ooh, I might catch this ridge. I'm going to... Ugh. Who designed this? All right. Well, we got 35 feet. A very tough 35-footer. Well, let's see what we got. No. No. All right. It's fine. Well, after such a hot start, we've just gone ice cold here the last three holes. Let's see if we can finish the back nine with a birdie at least. Still, we've had one heck of a front nine. As we reach the ninth, which is a short uphill par four. Very narrow fairway. Uh, tr lots of trouble right with those bunkers. But uh, left, there's a pretty significant hill that'll kick a lot of balls to the right. So not a huge landing area here. But we've hit it perfect. And that is job done. And that leaves us a little uphill pitch into a relatively small green. Okay, come on. Get a bounce. Big bounce. There we go. Nestles up pretty nicely. And we make the birdie putt. To make the turn in 28 with an absolute just on fire those first five holes. So, hey, hey, I'll take eight under through nine. And that was with three pars, so we'll take it for sure. All right, number 10 is a bit of an awkward drive. You kind of got to aim it over this big rock here. Uh, you can clear these bunkers in a wind like this, so we are going to go at it oh we hit a red slow here this is going to be big trouble it could kick right and just go into the that abyss there oh, we got a good bounce but we're in the heavy rough pretty decent lie though into a one of the biggest greens on the course um you do have opportunity to kind of run it down there but not really in this situation well 42 actually we might try that Another red fast. Just a terrible swing there. Needs a big roll. Come on. Oh, it might catch. It's going to catch the hill. It's going to catch the hill. This might actually be pretty good. Ooh. Now sit. Now nah, I have too much speed now. Yeah. You don't want to catch the hill there. Too much speed. All right. Well, we deserved that. That was just a poor shot altogether anyway. All right. All right, we're in for par. All right, as we head to the 11th. And now the 11th, admittedly, I'm not super happy with. This one didn't really get turn out how I wanted it to be. It's it, it's not it's not my favorite hole, but it, it's a bit of a challenging long par three. You definitely don't want to be long. Just visually, it didn't. Had an idea for it, but it I could never I couldn't quite get it to turn out how I wanted, but it is what it is. I was at the point where I was a bit time limited on this one, so still turned out to be not not too bad of a hole here. Whew, that was close. Yeah. Pretty brutal chip there. All right, in for the par. Okay, we head to the 12th. 12th is maybe one of the uh, prettier par fives on the course. Bit of an interesting hole here. Um, as the cliff kind of splits the fairway. So in a tailwind, you might even have to lay up on this hole. Not today, though, as we should have green light. And we get a bit of a gray slow, but we should catch the right side of the fairway. There we go. And then from here, it is, well, it's not going to be, it's going to be a three-shotter today. Uh, so I am going to lay up to the fat part of the fairway. 
Not much we can do there. And then we'll try to pitch it close. Take our medicine. This is how you should play the hole anyway. But with some tailwinds, um, you know, you have a chance of going at it. There we go. There we go. Nice little routine birdie there to get us to nine under par. All right. Now we head to the last few holes. Which I think are quite a trust tough stretch of holes. 13 through 18. Um, this course tends to kind of start easy and get harder as you go through. But uh, 13 is a bit of longer par four. Straight on. You kind of want to aim left center here. As we kind of make our way into this little valley. We go we'll take that into a slightly elevated green I hit the pitch don't usually hit a pitch from this far out but hey we'll give it a go Ooh, just kicks to the left how i want it that's not bad I'm gonna set up a birdie putt for us butter's been good today mm, it's the first one i've really missed all right, well, we'll knock in the par. It's okay. It's okay. All right, staying at nine under as we head to the 14th, which is another uphill par four. Kind of similar here. Fairway actually abruptly stops. I don't do this too often, but you know, we just had the fairway kind of abruptly stop here. I didn't want to carry it all the way to the end. You know, I wanted to do a little bit more planting kind of in between, but... I was in a very, very tight squeeze with the not even not the plant meter. It was uh, it was memory this time or file size. I mean, I did a lot of like copy paste planting for this one. Um, and yeah, it I, I think I was at 98 percent file size or something. So it uh, it got pretty large, pretty fast. And at the end of the day, it would have taken a lot of replanting. And to, so I just said, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. I think visually it's a unique course. It's definitely not my most, the course I've spent the most time on. I'll, I will I will admit that, but I do like the whole designs. I like how it turned out. Could I have spent another 10, 20 hours polishing this? Absolutely. Um, but sometimes there's things in life a little bit more important. And it's been a bit of a, I've been a little bit busy the last little bit, so. Um, yeah, anyway, that's my excuse. All right, 15 is a fun little uphill par three. A late iron into a very, not a very deep green. So you gotta be, your club selection's gotta be right on here. And I think mine's pretty good with this shot. Oh, <laughs> robbed. Just a little short. But a nice little chip in. We'll take it. As it gets us to 10 under. Definitely not as good of a back nine uh, golf-wise as the front for me, but... Hey, we're into double digits under par. All right, 16. Long par four. Down the hill, though. Uh, definitely want to aim to the right here. It is not a very big landing area. Lots of bunkers to the left that will swallow balls up. But we're fine left center right there. Perfect. Giving us about 103 yards in. I'm going to play the 118, take a little bit off. What do we got here? Be the club. Spin now. Spin. Oh, there it is. Pulling the string a little bit. And that will set up for us. Oh, no. I got a little excited there. I don't know. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, brutal. Threw one away there. All right. We got two holes remaining here at the Northern Lights Club. And uh, we got another mid length par four here. A little bit up the hill. This is a fairly wide fairway. Kind of grip and rip here. Oh, we're flirting with the left side. Oh, we're just fine. Leaves us about 142 in. 
multi-tiered uh, green complex here. You got to stay on the right tier. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is it enough club? Oh, it is. Stay. Stay there. Okay. We will take it. Kind of a tricky putt here. Get in. Butter just went cold on the back. Darn. All right, final hole here. As we finish up our round at the Northern Lights Club. And it is a par five, 574 yards. Chance to get there in two, depending on the wind. Oh, I've hit a very lazy drive here. Oh, it does find the fairway. We'll take it. Well... Not really a great chance of putting it close, so I think we're going to lay up the fat part of the fairway. Not uh, not the super sexy shot there, but the smart one. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we uh, I would have liked to have done a little bit more with that clubhouse, even by my standards, but we had some file size issues. And yeah, I had uh, I was pretty limited in what I could do by the time I hit I, time I hit 18 here, so. Something I gotta, you know, be a little bit more careful with in, in future designs is just monitoring that usage, so. And there it is. As we finish up with a birdie, gets us to an 11 under 61. We were super hot on the first five holes. Kind of cooled down, but it was a bogey-free round, so we'll take that. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, Northern Lights Club is my newest Again, please go check it out. Always take constructive feedback. In my, my personal opinion, I know it's not, this one's not my best um, quality wise for me, but you know, there were some circumstances that, uh, yeah, me, prevented me from really making this what I wanted it to be. But overall, I still think it's a good course. I'm still happy with it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put it out. So um, anyway, there it is the Northern Lights Club. Give it a play. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.